so the first of these that I got two, two chunks of, I already actually melted part of this one. And I've actually given away some of my individual chunks as well um, and around Robin. And then I think I gave away one chunk from one of my bakery bags. But um, so this is Christmas tree, pink sugar, vanilla bean Noel. So I love Christmas tree scents, but I usually like them to be sweetened up and paired with something else. Um, and the colors of this one, the pink and the green are just gorgeous. But this is fantastic. So I melted a little less than half of this. I was trying to cut it into a third, but I think I, I um, cut a little more off. So it's a little bit less than half of the chunk. And I cut that in half and put it in two warmers in my living room. I should have just done one half of the piece that I cut off because it was super strong, super, super strong, but it was so good. Um, so this is a really excellent blend. If you love Christmas tree scents, I think that in like pink sugar and sweet stuff, that's a really good blend. Her Christmas tree scent is really good. It's pretty potent, but it's good. Um, next is, let's see if you can see that, um, strawberry orange Julius. So this is just, you know, another one of my, one of the orange Julius blends. I love strawberries. So I thought, Strawberry and orange together are usually really good. Yeah, and this is really good. I don't pick up much of a strawberry now. I don't know why some of her strawberry kind of gets overpowered by the other scents. I'm mostly getting the orange Julius. And again, in this one, I'm picking up a bakery note, which I don't know why. I wouldn't expect that, you know? Okay, so this one was supposed to be two chunks of iced tea, yeah, iced tea mango sage. No, wait, wait. No, it was ice. I ordered iced tea mango vanilla mint, two chunks of this. She accidentally sent, so she sent one of that and then one of the iced tea mango sage. And, but I'm really happy because I actually think I like this one better. Um, let me smell them again, but I think that's my recollection. Yeah, so this one is good. Um, you definitely get a lot of the vanilla mint and then there's kind of a fruitiness to it from the mango. And then the other one, the one with the sage, yeah, it's it's such a different smell. It's so funny how different it is just from changing that one note. But it's really good. It's kind of just like a, a soothing, kind of a little bit of a sweet tea kind of scent. Like a fruity sweet tea. So I don't know, I go back and forth, because right now that I'm smelling them again, I think I like the one with the vanilla mint better, but I can't make up my mind, <laughs> apparently. Okay, next, this is cranberry pomegranate cider. Again, really fun, beautiful chunks with the red and the white. And this is so good. Um, the cranberry is like a very fall cranberry versus at least from what I'm picking up here is more fall cranberry than like tart sweet cranberry. And the pomegranate cider again has that nice kind of sweet cidery note. This is like an excellent excellent fall scent. Really good. I don't remember if I got that blend from someone or if I just came up with it myself. Okay, so here's another kind of Christmas tree type, you know, Christmassy scent blend. Pomegranate, spruce and berries, cotton candy. Um, so those were the three notes. The spruce and berries goes together. Um, I don't have the scent description for this one, but I love the colors of these chunks. And this is so, 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 so good. Because pomegranate is usually a really sweet scent, and so obviously so is cotton candy. And so you get that just wonderful, like, spruce scent with, like, sweet pomegranate, the sweet cotton candy. Oh, so it's, like, fruity and sprucey and good and sweet. It is so good. This is one that, although I probably wouldn't get through it all, I wish I would have gotten a larger bag in because it is so good. Um, my sister loves, she's learned that she likes the kind of pine scents that 
when you have a bunch of other stuff in it so the pine is kind of just a complimentary note and not the only note I think she would like that one but I'm trying to decide if I'm going to share one with her um, and then I just realized a lot of these I didn't write some of the scent descriptions so I may have to go back and do that like pause the video and go do that real quick um, but I'll do that in a minute so this next one is frosted lavender shortbread I don't know what the frosted is. It, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what the frosted is supposed to be like frosting or like I've seen vendors use frosted when they put vanilla be noel or I've seen them put frosted when it's like a minty note this is one of those blends that I saw people raving about and because I love lavender I was like I have to try it so you definitely get that shortbread note and I think it's vanilla be noel I think that the frosted stands for the vanilla be noel and then lavender and a shortbread and so it's like the lavender is actually surprisingly pretty mild in this right now so I'm hoping that the lavender will come out more because I really do love lavender blends um, but that is really good it has just that nice kind of sweet bakery note oops this one I'll show you too this one is Mac Apple Cranberry Woods Vanilla Bean Noel and I love apple scents so especially for fall so I thought this would be a good one and this is really good the cranberry woods I think has a little bit of kind of a, an earthy maybe a hint of a cologne note to it but I can smell the the mac apple and the vanilla bean noel so I'm hoping like when this one melts that the mac apple and vanilla bean noel come out a little bit more Okay, this one is raspberry cream cupcake and I think that's probably I don't know if that's the Yankee dupe for raspberry cream um, blended with cupcake but this is another one I think I saw people post about yeah I'm not sure if I like this one because I it's not as sweet and creamy as I'd expect it to be um, it has kind of like a florally perfumey note coming out of it so I'm not sure if I like this raspberry I don't know I may have to melt a little chunk of it and see what I think once it's melted this is iced cranberry again I don't have the scent description for this one but I believe it's basically just like a wintry kind of cranberry scent I think I heard her not heard saw her comment about that Janine comment about that on her on her Facebook group and this is really good it is it's like sweet and tart cranberry but there's what is that note there's another note to it that is coming out and kind of gives it a unique kind of fall like winter note or something it's really good that one is delicious Oh, and then here's one I wish I would have gotten more of, like a larger bag, um, Marshmallow Fireside. So this is not a fragrance oil that Janine has, um, but I saw someone else post about how they ordered this, and I added, I asked her if she could make it, and she said, yeah, she didn't have like Marshmallow Fireside, but what she did is she blended her toasted marshmallow with Fireside, and to me, it came out pretty spot on to the Bath & Body Works candle. I think it's not quite as creamy and sweet as the Bath & Body Works one, but it's really good. I think right now I'm picking up more of the fireside note, and I think when I first got this order, I was picking up more of the marshmallow. I'm going to smell the other bag. Yeah, but it is really good. Not quite the same, but it's good, so I like it. Next is Pretty in Pink. There's the second chunk. So Pretty in Pink is um, pink sugar, watermelon, and key lime pie. So and I pretty much love pink sugar blended with anything, um, especially with fruity scents. You know, I love it. And this is so good. 
this is really, really good. Um, you definitely pick up the pink sugar. I think the watermelon is the predominant note right now in cold. And you get a little bit of like that liminess from the key lime pie. I don't really pick up pie, but it's really good. And that pink sugar just, I love it. So two of those. And then um, this one is Pink Wedding Bells, and that's Pink Sugar, Wedding Cake, and Fresh Raspberry, which that sounds like a yummy wedding cake. Well, not with the pink sugar, I guess. This smells really good, but I think this is the same raspberry that might be in her raspberry cream. So it's coming off as kind of very fake and florally. So I'm hoping when I melt it that um, the pink sugar and the wedding cake will help really tone that down a little bit. Because on cold, it's a little too florally for me. This is Love Shack. Again, there's two of them. And this is peaches and cream, wild berry, and sugar cookie. And this is fantastic oh my gosh it's the perfect blend like it's the peaches and cream it's not that like very bright peach it's a sweet creamy peach and then the wild berry I'm not sure if it's wild berry mousse it might be wild berry mousse oh that sugar cookie this is one that I should have gotten a bakery bag in that is fantastic and I love the color of this next one, Purple Rain. Look at all the purple. Isn't that pretty? Um, so Purple Rain is Black Raspberry Vanilla and Chardonnay. And this is really good. It's definitely the, it's, it's Bath and Body Works, right, that has Black Raspberry Vanilla. I'm trying to make the this shot better. but So it's that nice, like, Black Raspberry Vanilla, um, with like the sweetness from her Chardonnay that's kind of a fruity sweet Chardonnay. That's really good. But it's pretty too because it kind of has a little bit of like a feminine note in it. Um, very good. And then the last scent blend that I did for the, for the two chunks is um, passion fruit, guava, and birthday cake. And this, I love the colors of this. The light pink and the lavender, it's so pretty. I know this is such a close shot, but my table won't get any bigger for me to reach. And this is really good. The guava, I think, or the passion fruit, it's not as sweet as I expect it to be. I think that if um, if I had a chance to do this again, I think I would add cotton candy or vanilla bean Noel to this to help sweeten it up just a tad. Because I do think that um, passion fruit and the guava is more of a fresh note with the birthday cake. So I do feel like it needs something sweet to blend in there with it. But I still really like it. So um, these are my double chunks. This is the end of part two. And then I'll be back with part three for the um, bakery bags. Thanks for watching.